Hello everyone, this is Liwe Model. So last weekend I was able to attend a train show. Uh, it was the spring edition of the Salon du Hobby, which means the Hobby Show, Expo Train. Uh, this is the flyer for their next edition, which is going to be uh, next uh, fall, the 2nd and 3rd of November. So, uh, what was I able to get there? A bunch of stuff. Um, this is going to be a shorter video that I'm usually uh, making. The idea here is just I want to give you an idea of what's in there and what you could potentially expect in the next few weeks. Also, if you have any comments about uh, whether or not what I got uh, was a fair deal or if I overpaid for certain stuff in there, uh, please leave them uh, down below and uh, yeah, let's see what is there and how I did. So let's start off by uh, this plastic bag here. Uh, this is just a whole bunch of rolling stock that uh, I was able to grab for very very cheap. The whole kit costed me eight Canadian dollars, so about six US dollars. And uh, what is in there? Well, some very cartoony cars. Uh, my girlfriend started laughing when she saw them, so I knew I had to buy them. And at uh, two dollar a piece, uh, I well, it doesn't matter if they're good or not. They're just cute. So here's one, uh, this is a blue one there, with a little kid dressed like a chef. I have also a green one here. And uh, this one's more like uh, kids uh, picking up apples, again, dressed like chefs. Uh, what else? Uh, so, this is just a regular Union Pacific uh, gondola probably from Batman. Again, two dollars. That's actually the only one that wasn't part of the kit. And this one here, uh, with the, yeah, the, the kid also dressed like a chef going out of a raspberry with a strawberry, like, and an apple. Uh, this is actually my girlfriend's favorite ones. Um, yeah, uh, I think the, the, the print on it uh, looks actually pretty decent. So, where is that coming from, you may ask? Well, the answer is in the last car here, which is a caboose. Very basic caboose. Uh, the, uh, what I saw is that this is called the Mini Chef Express train set. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have the uh, locomotive, but, you know, it was made by President's Choice, which is a local brand of uh, <laughs> a grocery store here. So that's it for the bag of rolling stock. So, so eight Canadian dollar or around six US dollar. Was it a waste of money? Oh well, at least it made someone laugh. So next I have this box here, which is a Lima box. And uh, that box uh, is actually a pretty old Lima box, probably dating from the end of the 1960s. What I have in there is an Italian uh, shunter electrical, because there's a pantograph in there. This one uh, was uh, $24.99. Uh, I was able to get it for $20. Um, I don't think I overpaid for this, but you know, I don't think this was necessarily a bargain also. But with today's prices, I mean, can get any type of locomotive as long as it runs uh, for 20 bucks I still think it's half uh, decent now uh, I have a bunch of Bachman boxes here um, if I show them to you what these are well these are DCC on board shunters uh, this one's the uh, General Electric 44 tons uh, from uh, Baltimore and Maine this one I paid $25 I did not bargain on this uh, because uh, I mean Seriously, $25 for this shunter with a DDCC decoders? I thought it was a pretty good deal. So, what happened? Well, I actually got another one. Also 44 tonner, just this one's unlettered, but painted. Uh, also for $24. So, uh, you think I got another one? Yes and no. I mean, this is the 70 ton uh, shunter from Batman again, $25. Also a DCC decoders in there, and uh, finally the last one I got is a Southern Pacific version of the previous one that you just saw, 70, uh, 70, yeah, 70 tons uh, by General Electric. So the big box in there with Williams written on it, 
People who are familiar with Williams knows that this will be... Um... Well, a no-gauge train, and you would be right. Now, Williams is owned by Batman nowadays, but... Uh, sorry, this one is uh, heavier than everything else I got. So, uh, this is an Amtrak uh, locomotive. It's um, E60, I think. Uh, it's an electric locomotive. Uh, it's on the 3 rail O gauge. And uh, this one I was able to get for $50. Uh, it does have a very limited amount of sound, supposedly. Uh, and uh, from what I saw over there, it's almost brand new. So I think that this was a pretty good deal at 50 bucks. Now there's some stuff in there that you can't see uh, because it, it, it would just not fit here. I got myself a whole bunch of O-gauge track for, with uh, three rails uh, so that this way I could make this run. And uh, you can expect a video about this one uh, in the not so distant future once I find out a place to put all those those tracks. And uh, for those tracks uh, I paid a total of uh, $70 for a complete oval plus some uh, four, uh, 40 inch long tracks. I got four of these and I have a whole bunch of smaller curves and smaller straight. So this is what I was able to pick up. Um, if, uh, if you think that I did good, uh, let me know. Uh, if there's anything in there that uh, you uh, would like to see first, uh, let me know. Uh, if uh, if uh, there is something that you notice that I have not got, like uh, any type of larger American diesel, um, I'll tell you, there wasn't anything that caught my eye. And uh, Jake, I've not forgot about your locomotive, I just didn't find any good deals about uh, what you were looking for. So, on that note, this was Leeway Model. I hope everyone have a very good day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Leeway Model, out.